Good morning, YouTube. How's it going? I'm getting a little scraggly. I'm getting my November going on here. But anyhow, good morning. It's been a while. I've been watching all this stuff going on around the world. And yeah, I've got my United States Marine Corps Make America Great Again hat on. Got my nice little military clip on it. You know what I'm saying. It's a hat clip, not a magazine. <laughs> anyhow. I just thought, sorry about the brightness of the sun coming through the window. I don't have any shades in here, so uh, I got a new truck. It's going to be mine. Uh, 2012 Kenworth T600, 546,850 miles. Hold on a second. Oh, there we go. Anyhow, I uh, just want to come to you and talk a little bit about this, this latest stuff coming out guys Jim Comey he's going to jail there's a whole bunch of people going to jail this little stuff that just came out that was <laughs> wait till they start the FISA stuff yeah so there's the politics for the time uh, still I believe that Mr. Trump's doing his job I don't like the man as a person don't have to like your boss don't have to like your CEO don't have to like your president don't have to like your congressman or senator but if they're doing their job good on them other than that, you've got to understand that uh, every once in a while, things just don't go the way you hope they go. I really hope I'm coming through on my headset, and uh, you can hear me. Let me know if you can't, and I'll re-record this, because uh, I don't have a 1,000 subscribers yet. I've got 200, 198, 200. I need to multiply that by five. So uh, share this with your friends. Tell them, hey, this guy's a little crazy, a little fun. But other than that, um, I want to talk about this weather. I always talk about the weather. It's a it's a conversation starter. Look at that. I got to get out of that sun. It's a conversation starter, y'all. You know, let's talk about the weather. Because what they're feeding us in the news media is a bunch of hoo-ha. I mean, I've never, ever heard in my lifetime, 50 years on this planet, of kangaroos jumping in the snow down in Australia. Really? Global warming? My ass. Sorry, y'all, but y'all are a bunch of dumbasses. You still believe in global warming. It ain't you. It's not CO2. <laughs> it's the sun. The sun is going into a grand solar minimum, like a thousand-year grand solar minimum, and it's getting worse as we continue on into it. Guys, this is not a joke. If you're not, if you're not saving up food, and putting food in your pantry, canned goods, Dried goods, rice, get a lot of rice. Uh, get every canned good that you can get a hold of. I just hauled out uh, tomato, tomatoes, canned tomatoes. An entire semi-tractor full of canned tomatoes. Uh, can your tomatoes. Get your tomatoes. Those are good for you. You know, um, Peas, get all the peas you can get. It's got great proteins in it. Uh, there's other things that, uh, that I suggest. In the next video, I'm going to tell you about nutrition that I'm using that uh, has allowed me to get off a of high blood pressure medication um i'm losing weight can you see i don't have the big old oh you know, beard up a little bit i don't have a double chin no more uh, anyhow just i wanted to come to you and let you know that there are some things that uh, are going on that they're not telling you about start storing food as much food as you can get a hold of because number one thing is you might not be able to eat it all but this thing's going to last for a while. They just had a huge, huge volcano that's going to affect our weather that just popped over in freaking in Russia. Just outside of uh, Alaska. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One lady probably seen it blow up because it went up 70,000 feet, folks. 70,000 feet. It's putting some aerosols. That's going to affect our weather. It blew up one day 70,000 feet. The next day it went up 30-some thousand feet. You know, you put ash up that high up into the atmosphere, and it's going to act like a shield to the sun. Never you mind what's going on with the aircraft flying over and putting stuff in the sky. Who cares? Volcanoes do more in one day than all the pollution that a man has put out in 500 years. One pop of, an air, of, a, of a volcano. Uh, I remember how cold it got back in 1980 after the Mount St. Helens popped and put all that stuff up in the air. I mean, that was a cold winter, 1981 was, 80-81. I don't know if any of y'all can remember that. Some of y'all probably weren't even born yet, but it's okay. It's all right. We're going into a grand solar minimum 
And I don't care what the mass media says. If you guys are still listening to that garbage, then you deserve what's coming to you. I plan on surviving it. Who knows? I'm getting up to that age where, you know, uh, the the family, uh, I could go one way and live to be 90 to 100 years old. I'd go the other way and die when I'm 69 like my grandpa. So, uh, you know, who knows? Who knows? I'm doing my best to keep myself healthy, stay off the petro drugs that they've got out there. I'm so happy I'm off that high blood pressure medication. And like I said, the next video, stay tuned. Next video, I'm going to come at you with some stuff that you should get a hold of and start hoarding it. It ain't cheap, but it's good stuff. And like they say, if you're going to have something in your body, make sure it's the best of the best. So while we're still, you know, running around and able to get a hold of food, get able to get a hold of nutrition that, that nobody else can get a hold of, get a hold of it. Grab it. Store it up as much as you could possibly afford to get. And I'm telling you, that volcano, it popped off some stuff into the atmosphere. I always say watch for an 8 or a 9 Eight or a nine volcano popping. This one was a seven. A number seven on the volcano scale. VEI. The volcano eruption index scale. It was a seven. 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 It was a, a seven. <laughs> Give you one of those eye things. Seven. So the I-70 Mad Hatter is telling you, start storing food, guys. Because uh, this winter is going to be bad. I'm, I'm like telling my dispatch and everybody else while I'm driving this truck, keep me south after September. Keep me south. Do not send me to the north. Don't send me out to California. Don't make me go through the mountains. Because uh, if you're going to, just triple my freaking my delivery price. Because uh, I'm not going there for the rates that I'm getting right now. So uh, I'm, I'm making some good money. But the winter time's coming, and I don't do chains. If it says chain up, I pull over. Anyhow, I'm at 7.06 on this little thing here. I've talked a little bit about the weather, a little bit about volcanoes. Now, if you really want to learn something about the weather and what's coming on, go look up ADAPT 2030. Right, ADAPT 2030 right here on the YouTubes. Second person to go look at. The Earthquake Man, you know, Dutch Sense. Dutch Sense on YouTube. D-U-T-C-H Sense. Dutch Sense. Like making sense? He could predict... Earthquakes. He just predicted that 6.5 up there in right off the coast of Oregon, Washington. Just happened. He predicted it two weeks ago. Now, he's not a year in advance, but two weeks to get you get you ready for something. And if he predicts something bigger, guys, he is predicting something bigger up there. So all my friends up there in the Northwest, pull your heads out, get you some food. Get you, uh, you know, a grab bag right next to your door in case you have to evacuate your apartment or your house or whatever it might be. Put you some real shoes in it. Don't put no flip-flops in there. <laughs> There's going to be glass on the ground if you're in a big building. Put you some real shoes in there near, near where your grab bag is. Get you some water. Get you some clothing that's going to keep you warm because winter's coming. And up there in the Pacific Northwest, it gets colder quicker. Um, if you're in the deserts and the earthquakes pop off down in California, if I've got a few of you guys down there listening to me right now, cool! If not, get your friends involved with this, because I'll send you back to other channels like Adapt2030, Dutch Sense, that's two of them. And the third, the community of people that I'm part of. A YouTube channel that started, but it's actually a community of people that you can join up and start helping each other get prepped for, you know, crap that happens. Natural catastrophes happen all the time, let alone... Dumbass, you know, uh, humans popping off freaking nuclear bombs on each other. Ain't no way to really survive that. I mean, seriously. One pops off 250 miles away from you, you're going to die of radiation poisoning. End of story. You're done. Uh, but if they pop them off in other countries, that radiation is going to travel around the world. There's going to be supply cuts. There's going to be food not grown. Right, like this year, man, there's a lot of crops that didn't get planted because of the floods and all the rain that we're having. And you folks down in Florida, I feel for you right now. You guys need to get your butts packed up, get your house boarded up, get the hell out. If you need a place to stay, come on up to Kansas. We got some a bunch of RV parking spots. Get your camper trailer. Come on up and hang out with us for a couple of weeks, you know, while they get stuff squared away down there. We got plenty of fresh water. We got plenty of food. Get up here. Get your butts out of Florida. Get up here. Anyhow, I'm going to get off here. It's been 10 minutes. Nice chatting at you. 
I'm going to make more videos, I promise. I promise. I know I've said it before, but I get so busy. And, well, right now I'm sitting waiting to be unloaded at the auto parts store. So, hey, till next time, you know what I'm going to say? You know what I'm going to say? Keep your stick on the ice.